hey what's going on there good citizens uh just like i said here i am right back at you to drop a little video on you before the weekend um today's video i'm going to be talking about some romantic ideas i'm gonna to try to do this as fast as i can and get through there this idea is very cheap but it is very very effective okay so um here's what you need to do five dollars and 99 cent plat out i got me some uh some little stationery so what we're gonna do with these little stationery and you don't have to get to this particular one um just get you know whichever ones that you want but give it some thought have like the cover have some sort of meaning don't get a dog on the cover if you can't explain like why there's a dog on the cover okay so the reason we're going to get these stationaries is we are going to do a scavenger hunt scavenger hunt for your lady or your significant other <clears throat> women are like natural detectives if you don't believe your woman is a detective I, how many times have you been around the house seen her pick up a random hair and hold it up to the light you know what she's doing investigating so we are going to use that investigative nature to not really our advantage, but to make her have some type of fun and, you know, significant romantic event. So what you're going to do is find out her routine in the morning. What does she do? Hopefully she likes to brush her teeth in the morning. That's one good place to hide it. If she doesn't like to brush her teeth in the morning, she goes straight down and get some coffee. First off, yuck. But hey, second off, all right, cool. Hide the first card down there. One half of the card, what you're going to do is put in um, the introduction. You're going to let her know, hey, you know, um, I have hidden 10 cards all over the place. You will find them. Each card will have a hint linking it to the next card. And from there, you're going to make sure you put something funny, right? Let's say you love her smile. You love her laugh or something like that. Right on one half of there, hey, you know, after you introduce what is going on, the game, and the reason why you picked out that particular card with the, the little cover or the X's and O's, then you're gonna put in a story about it. This is all handwritten, right in there. Hey, you know, I love your smile. I remember that one time, you know, you farted and I was like, oh my God, who farted? And you was like, I don't know, but it was only you and me in the room and it smelled real bad. And I was like, that was you, wasn't it? And then you laugh, whatever, whatever funny story that you could think of that's gonna make her smile. And you can even put, I bet you smiling right now in there, right? Right, because women love to have fun. Everybody likes to have fun. Nobody, you don't wanna start this out real serious. So start off on a high note, everybody's laughing and having a good time. Then you're gonna link in the cards to the next card, hide them in different places. I don't need to tell you how to do that. I mean, like link them, link them, link them, link them, link them, link them. Uh, now, here's where we're gonna meet the fork in the road. If you have a woman who has kids and she is a stay at home wife, I want you to think back to the last time that she had time off. If it is uh, anything outside of the current month, it's probably been too long. So I would highly recommend your final card to be a way for her to, hey babe, go ahead and leave the house. I'm gonna take care of the kids. Here's a much needed break. Cause I'm telling you fellas, if your woman has not left the house in a long time by herself, she, she probably needs a break, right? Um, or let's say your woman is not, hey, it's just you and her or your kids are old enough, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna develop a thing called our little, uh, you know, sex panther. We all know where sex panther comes from, right? <laughs> so, um, what we're gonna do, each one of those cards, you spray in cologne, spray cologne inside of those cards. The reason you're gonna spray cologne inside of those cards, fellas, is because we are going to establish a memory with that. And at the end of this, if you successfully do what I'm telling you, I'm, every time she smells that cologne, you're gonna, she's gonna be reminded of this event, but you have to deliver. Ooh, you have to deliver, and I'm gonna tell you how to deliver. So, all right, I've already explained how if she's, a stay-at-home mom, you give her that little bit of a time off. We all can see how that goes in the story. If she is, um, you know, you don't have kids or anything like that, or your kids are grown, what you are going to do is tie them to, like, dinner, and you can you can link them to, like, hey, babe, I got, you know, um, oh, I got you. This is smooth right here. Oh, man. Oh, this is smooth. Watch this, watch this, watch this right here. So you don't have to come up with, like, <clears throat> only hide the cards you can be directive in it because she's going to be very excited to find out what's inside of these cards so how do i be how do i be directive q tell me please teach me teach me all right cool i got you say less baby um you can be like hey look in order to get the next hint to where the other card is you're gonna have to change your attire um so you're gonna need to be in some lingerie 
and I want that black one. So once you're down in the lingerie, I want you to come downstairs and give me a hug and a kiss that lasts for longer than five seconds, and then I give you the hint to the next car. But that's not where you end it. You can't end the game right there, man. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. And because she wants to find out where the next car is, because this is fun, she's gonna go up there and change. Make sure you have on your sexy underwear too. You know what I mean? When she goes upstairs, you strip, you strip down to yours. Like, come on, man. Like, how would you feel if you put on sexy underwear and your woman sitting there in sweatpants? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, man, match, match the occasion. That same clone that you sprayed inside of the cars, make sure you have this on your body. Uh, you can have one and she comes downstairs and gives you a hug and a kiss inside of that sexy lingerie. She's looking good, fella, but please don't bite just yet. Uh, send her over to the refrigerator and tell her, hey, inside of the refrigerator, there's a glass of wine. Um, and inside, buy that glass of wine, you will find your next card. And then she goes in and she is excited. She pours herself a glass of wine because you told her to. And then it goes over to the next card. You can have that one, you know, under the seat or under the plate or something like that about dinner. Um, the next thing you're going to do is tie that last card to dinner. Uh, you can give it to her afterwards. However, get as creative as you want to. But after you give her that card, after you... She she gets her final card. You're gonna do like, hey, babe. What you didn't understand is there was uh, some whipped cream inside of the refrigerator because you and I are gonna have desserts. Now, here's where a lot of people mess this up. If they do something like this, they'd be like, oh my god, there's only one place to do these type of things. I can only eat my dessert in in the bedroom. Listen, you eat dessert in your car. You eat dessert in while you're walking you eat dessert anywhere right so right there on the spot after she reads that car she's looking at you like what whipped cream and enjoy your dessert eat your dessert on the spot you have to deliver oh my god you have to deliver on this make sure you are you're hydrated you have stretch you are ready to perform at your highest level. How do you perform at your highest level? I don't know, Skittles, Red Bull, but drink Hennessy. Oh my God, Hennessy. <laughs> drink whatever it is that you can drink or do whatever it is that you can do to make sure that you deliver on this end. And once you have done this from start to finish, you have established a very significant memory with your sex panther, with that cologne. She smells it and you deliver it. Oh my God, you, hey, hey. I ain't saying I'm the best, but I know a little something, so, all right? So, uh, that right there is to help you guys out. That's a little little quick one, you know? I try to do this from house to gate. I just arrived at the gate, so uh, that's it, man. That is your Sex Panther romantic lesson. Hey, thank you guys for riding with Q, baby. Peace.